So we're stress testing the MGT today. Man, that's a big spill. This is cleaning up pretty good though. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Slug it all crumpled. We'll give you that for like 20 bucks. Wow. <laughs> Hit us in the DMs. Hey, hey, what's up, man? How's it going? It's going. Where's the destruction? Here is the destruction. Two or three years ago, when we did MGT 1.0, we stress tested a tape, and I took two destroyed tables, turned those into one permanent Franken put. So I have no idea what to expect. Whoa! 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 Oh my God! Oh, everything about this. But you couldn't take it apart. So now we're here with all the parts to small modular table, and we're gonna do the same thing, but it's still gonna be modular. I guess you'd be able to upgrade the size if you wanted, it just won't have damage. Which I guess we could do for you. I don't think so. <laughs> It's not that bad. <laughs> well, I, I mean, we've definitely got some things to repair. I guess we'll go through and uh, assess the damage. Probably gonna need to get some clay. Like, I need to make a, like, it's missing. All this <laughs> should be wood. So we may need to, like, literally make a mold yeah. out of clay to fill with the epoxy and then give it its shape back. We may have to get artsy and craftsy on this one. All right, let's check out the leg. So that looks like no epoxy. That that one needs some help. That's rough. That one, that one That's needs some help. That looks pretty good. That's yeah. perfect too. That one has some blowback. Again, there's that weird orange powder that comes from the explosion. Yes, yeah, so we got three legs that don't need any major work. No, this one needs glued together, so we'll glue that guy back on. This looks like the point of an explosion. I have to assume one of the mortars was right there. And how many mortars do we have in here? Two. I think that was the only rail that needed anything glued on it. It's that fine. one looks pretty good. Fine. Quality. Got some firework residue still in it. <laughs> structurally sound. This one, not so structurally sound. Yeah. It's like new, it's rustic. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? So we're gonna go down to the finish because this table was already completely through top coat and everything. Now it has all this new damage that I kind of want to keep on it. But when you blow something up, it has explosive residue. I don't believe that top coat's gonna stick to that. Damn, really smells like fireworks. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> you still going around with that thing you blowing up? <laughs> <laughs> it's already been blown up. I know. Now we're putting it back together. Definitely getting rid of some of it, yeah, but for sure. I'll try to keep light as I can. Uh, it still looks like it's been through some shit. We'll come back later and see if it's stuck. Okay. Ba -ba. I'm trying to think of where the hell the closest place to pick up clay would be. What kind of clay? Like air dry clay? No, well, like modeling clay. Like Michaels or yeah, that's Hobby Lobby or... Fuck it, everything's a Hoy in 11. Yeah, Myerstown's not good for hobbies. <laughs> yeah. My car's all nice and clean today. The Edmobile. You gotta have a name for this thing. It's Beelzebub. Beelzebub? <laughs> How'd you turn it down? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they might not open till like nine. Well, 
try Hobby Lobby. They only open at nine too. You want to go get breakfast? <laughs> uh, I could eat. Supplies. Is that the finished one? <laughs> yep. Looks like it held well. Doesn't seem like it wants to like just scratch off. Oh, it actually kind of made some of that stuff pop a little bit. So this piece, for all intents and purposes, is already done. We shouldn't need to do nice. anything else to this one. See what the rest of everything looks like. Do this. This is a nice simple one to start with. At least it just got some holes in it. Ear slug. Wouldn't want to get hit by that. This one has quite the crack in it. I wonder what that one. Nine millimeter. Go in and then blew a whole chunk out. They went through and hit the metal rail. <laughs> This one might have been that big old deer slug. Oh yeah. And it just went the whole way down in it. I like how this side has the bumper on that side and this end has the bumper on this end. Fucking meal in there. <laughs> I've been debating on what to do with that. Like, so I think we're just gonna cut it off. I'll try and leave it if you could. I mean, just like that. You think so? Yeah. Because it's sharp. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I, I was. Oh, that is actually really sharp. Yeah. Hey. I have a quick question for you oh two. Should we cut that off? No, you leave it. <laughs> leave it? Leave it. How do we... I don't know how you finish well, around I, with I, it. I, I sanded it so it's not razor sharp anymore. How do you feel? But, I mean... That's kind of sharp. <laughs> That's kind of sharp. All right, we'll leave, like a, like we'll leave a little it. We'll come up with something. Clear. Right. I didn't think they'd want to keep it. Every time I think I know Doug, I get it wrong. <laughs> All right, so that'll be an interesting challenge to figure out, too. I'm thinking this one's just going to be remolded from here. To here, and that'll all just be epoxy there. That should bring that one back to structural soundness, and then we'll just start filling holes. Tape. Literally the one thing that I found that the epoxy will not stick to. Arts and crafts time, bitch. Hopefully that'll make a watertight seal. Epoxied up and then just a bunch of sanding tomorrow's gonna be a little bit of epoxy and a lot of sanding tomorrow first thing we finish that rail That, fix that, rail. We start with that. that thing's gonna be a beast. Well, see you tomorrow see you in the morning All right, let's see 
could we could pop some of these molds off. Oh, I see it moving. Oh, there we go. Look pretty yet, but it will. Well, as pretty as something that's been shot numerous times can be. <laughs> Pretty good to me. All right, so we're gonna give this to Jason for him to put these holes over there. Can you do these? I don't have a program. Oh, well, I can do it. I think this is the only one that I need that done to. It will have a leg and at least one rail. Yeah. I'll get it. So we're gonna try to make this work for a table, right? It's already programmed, I'm ready to run it. What I'm trying to do is recreate what we have here. I wanna know the inside, how wide, and the depth. So all of my measurements are in. Everything looks good, Matt? Yeah, it looks like science. Okay, great. Pretty good to me. But you do these all the time, right? I do these all the time. But the difference with this one is, again, thickness. Typically, we work with three quarter inch hopper. That's what all my measurements are entered in the machine for. This is not three quarters of an inch because it's been sanded a buttload of time. So now we got to adjust our measurement a little bit. Bad. Here we go. Not too bad. Good enough for me. Good enough for me. Okay. Right. Better. This works. Alright, thank you. Thank you, Jason. Alright, what's your idea? We're gonna try to drip medium glue down the sharp edge of the arrowhead in the hopes that we can create a see-through protective cover. It's not liquid anymore. You certainly couldn't cut yourself on it. Craftsman's Promise doesn't cover a laceration. <laughs> yeah, it only covers damage to the table, not to you. <laughs> Start gluing this guy together. We stir and then we're gonna 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 add some powder and then we're gonna stir and we'll pour one spoon rule and hopefully that'll keep our color consistent stir 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 all right cup 
number one. Say we at least let that sit, see if it leaks more. We don't see any more leaks. We'll keep adding a pop. Oh. See what she looks like. A moment of truth. A moment of something. Hey! That's so far better than I was thinking. That filled up nice actually. Yeah. Alright. That is not bad at all. No. No, it is not. That fucking beautiful. All night, I was like, <laughs> we're gonna have to refill, but that's all full. What more could you ask for? Hey, I'm happy. It's been through a lot. All right, well, I guess all we gotta do now is finish sanding, and then uh, those holes yep. put back in this end. Right, right. is worth its weight in sandpaper. Yeah. Okay, so we need to drill this hole to meet up with that hole. The light that you can see inside there. Spray it, maybe you'll be able to see me drilling better. That's kind of cool. We're almost there. Yeah, ooh, there it is. One more screw. Done. a safe trip. Let me know how things go. You think it'll actually go up for tomorrow then? Let's see. That's a, the rest is up to Bobby now. Well, it was fun. Didn't turn out too bad. Anything that glows in the dark, I'm good. <laughs> Alright, we got Franken Table 2.0, I guess. All packed up, ready to go. Let's get this thing to Massachusetts. I spared you the six hour drive. You're welcome. Oh, you look like you've recovered from your steak night. I did. The ham balls finally passed. I heard about that. There was footage of you talking oh, okay. about your meat sweats or whatever. <laughs> you full of meat? You look exhausted, Doug. It was meat night. Steak night. The brisket. Way too much brisket. A lot of sauces. The Amish are super saucy. The Amish are saucy. I mean, if you're if you're talking about like gravy. Yeah, I mean, when you make gravy, is the I'm liquid... Trying, I'm trying to stay on task. But is the liquid in gravy fat? Do they put water in no, gravy? No, it's, it is. There is some fat and flour, but then just like the, uh, the drippings, the juice is what gives it the bulk and the flavor. The dripping is not the primary liquid. It is the primary liquid. The okay. fat is a smaller percentage. What percentage of gravy is that water? Oh, pretty high. What's salad dressing? Is salad dressing Shut the fuck up! <laughs> 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 just interested in these things. Curiosity. I'm curious. 
if we destroyed a table and then paid Crazy Ed to put it back together, what would it look like? That is a good question. Thank you, Tuck. <laughs> Luckily, we have the answer to that question right down there. Well, the whole table itself? The whole table. Oh, you Already brought done. it back? Yeah. Jason, do you want to take a look at your favorite thing? I, I love Franken tables. They're my favorite. <laughs> Let's go. The height of design. Have you heard of the ship of Theseus? It's a philosophical question. If you have a ship, one day you're like, you know, this part of the boat, it's rotting. You replace it with new material, new wood. And month after month, you actually replace the boat piece by piece by piece. So is it the same boat anymore? That's the paradox. That's the question. The Wormwood ship of Theseus is over here. <laughs> if Crazy Ed piece by piece replaced every bit of this table, is it still the original table? Is it, oh, is it even uh, an MGT? Ship or something? Ah, yeah. hey, hey, look at this, this guy! guy. <laughs> what? Well, it's hard. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard. Oh. What? <laughs> Why is there two? Hey, it's mostly the same okay. table. Not the choice. Immediately, who's get, are we gonna hurt no, ourselves? No, no, he blunted it. Yeah, yeah, it's blunted. Pretty good. Oh. Wow, that's nice. He did a good job with that epoxy. That's actually quite nice. There's a bunch of lead still in here. Yeah, you can yeah, see you can the see lead. You can see all the lead. Shot. Like the, the buckshot. Check this out over here. You can see the hardware. Yeah. Oh, you can cool. see the heart. Is this glow in the dark? Yes, it is. Of course. This and then is the top. A little problematic to use it as a table. No. What are you talking about? That's the best. What do you mean when I'm talking? There's salt and pepper shaker next to it. <laughs> <laughs> what are we? What are we doing with this, Bobby? Okay. We are gonna raffle this off. It'll cost like a dollar. You can buy as many tickets as you want, and the money we raise is going to go toward tricking out the break room for the employees. I asked Cristaldi, I was like, if we could do something for the employees, what would they like? And he listed a, a couple of those things in the break room that they'd appreciate. How crazy we go is dependent on how many tickets we sell. I wanna get like arcade cabinets, oh, put like some fun. games up there. That'd be sure. fun. So ready, ready, ready for a... One yeah, give me, yeah, give me one, give me one. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, you want to take that end topper off so I can see on the inside? Because that's where the you know, <laughs> that's where the big one is. That's pretty cool.